Um, home builder stocks, by Thanks, the way, sir. trying to digest all of this new housing uh, market data, and they're all moving lower today. Look at that. They are hoarding down uh, more than 3.5%. Meanwhile, mortgage rates are showing, well, little signs of easing. According to the St. Louis Fed, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate hitting 7.02% today. New home buyers still, though, battling higher rates, obviously, compared to the 6.35% in May of last year. It was down to 4.14% this time in 2019. So the question is, how do house hunters navigate this market? It's not easy. Joining me now in a Fox Business exclusive is Jeff Taylor. He's founder of the nation's largest mortgage risk provider, Emphasis Digital Risk. He's also a board member with the Mortgage Bankers Association. You know what you're talking about, Jeff. Great to have you here. How would you characterize the housing market? Because all I've heard is still not enough inventory, still mortgage rates too high, and especially for first-time home buyers, they just can't get on the ladder. Ashley, thank you so much for having me. So, look, the U.S. Yeah. housing market still is, is, is a bit complex, right? Let's start with the new home builders right now. Mm. If you look right now, 25% of home builders have been giving 6% discounts on new homes they're selling last month and for the last 11 months still. So you can still get a deal and a negotiation with them. Over 59% of home builders on a monthly basis have been giving some sort of concessions, whether it be closing costs or what have you. So as fast as they are building, they still have demand for them. On the existing home sales right now, again, here's the good news. Right on existing home sales, we're 4% off our high of June 2023 as far as overall cost cost, but inventory is still tight. So my overall pers perspective on the housing market is it's fundamentally very strong. People are always asking me, are we heading back for a 2008 scenario? Not even close to that. It's strong. We're still making up for the 6 million houses we did not build from like 2010 to 2019. And there is a lot of runway for home builders to continue to build new houses and be creative, whether they're being purchased or just, like we just talked about, houses that are being rent are built brand new and are being uh, put on the market as rentals. You know, it's interesting. I, I did a story, I think it was last year, down in Palm Bay, Florida, where a whole entire community uh, was built by investors who purely wanted renters. And I understand that. And it does address um, the tight number of rentals available because we've seen prices going higher. But you know what? The American dream is the house with the white picket fence. Is that harder yeah. to achieve? So if, you know, from an affordability perspective, I mean, look, last week we did get a little bit of a bump, right? With CPI driving, uh, dropping yeah. by 10, uh, 10 basis points, we went from like 7.12 in a mortgage rate to 6.87, right? So a little bit of, of, of cushion right there. It is getting harder to achieve, but let me give you a scenario where it is very achievable. If you have a household income of around $108,000 to $116,000 combined, you put 5% down, you use that 6.8%, uh, mortgage rate right now. You have $600 in other non-housing uh, type costs, and if even taking into account your rising insurance rate of about $2,000 annual, you can get into a house. The question, though, is where you're living, and you have to act, probably act very, very quickly. There's not a lot out there. Most houses are still going at list or a little bit above. So if you're prepared, if you have yourself financially, you have your mortgage, you have all your documentation in order to move quickly, you can find pockets yeah. of achieving that American dream with the white pocket picket fence, but it's not in great abundance right now, and you got to be ready to move pretty quickly. I hear all the time as well, Jeff, it's pretty hard to get a mortgage. The, the hoops you have to jump, jump through are multi, you know, multiple, and that, uh, you know, if, you've, if your credit is anywhere dinged at all, then you can pretty much forget it. Is that true? You know, look, I, I would tell you, like, from our, our seat as the, the largest third-party uh, mm. third mortgage outsourcer in the country for large big banks, I, I think the accessible the, the credit is actually um, is very robust. Again, you do need to take care of your mm. credit and yeah. you need to have all your documentation in a row. And the good thing is these loan products are very fundamentally structured correctly. So people who are getting loans can afford to pay, uh, to pay them back, which is why we have all-time we have all low delinquency rates in our mortgage products. So it's not that it's that hard. You just need to be organized. You need to be thoughtful about making sure that you make all your payments on your, on your credit reports. And you need to go out to several different lenders online and see who can give you the best product. And if you do have a ding, you are, you are able to uh, repair those and put yourself in a situation right. within 69 days to actually buy a house.
Very good, Jeff. Great advice. I actually feel a little bit better about the housing market now after talking to you. Jeff Taylor, thank you so much for uh, talking with us today. Much appreciated.